I would like to ask you um, if you could tell tell a story or an ex about an experience where um, you've learned something about literacy from creating this archive. <laughs> there is not a day that goes by that I don't learn something from looking at the narratives uh, in the DALN. Um, the uh, literacy is so varied in all its human manifestations. Uh, people learn how to read from cereal boxes and by reading the Bible and by bedtime stories and by um, going to school and by uh, attending Sunday school, by reading in church, you know, by reading instructions. They read in uh, their homes, they read in hardware stores, they read under workbenches in the garage, they read in libraries, they read uh, on playgrounds, in trees, you know, in forts, they read everywhere and they're taught by mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters and they're taught by um, by peers, they're taught by uh, Sunday school teachers, they read to dogs and people and um, classes. There's so much variation in the practice and the valuing of literate experiences that you can't help but learn something new every time you listen to one of those stories. And so it's the variation uh, on literacy that most intrigues me uh, how um, the activity of signing shapes uh, your literate expressions, values, understandings, ASL uh, signing, or how the experience of reading music shapes your understanding of what it means to communicate, or how the experiences and the values surrounding um, alphabetic reading or multi uh, modal reading and composing shapes what you think of as communication, um, uh, shapes what you think of as composing or reading. All that is remains fascinating to me because of its variability.